London A Base on the Mud. So in the last episode, or whatever you want to call it, I don't know if we're going to make this episodic, but however, in the last one, I sent a rover to land on the man. It's sort of like a short mission and some sort of fun editing. Hopefully you'll enjoy this as well. But I decided we haven't got a base on the man. We need somewhere for Valentina. If it's Valentina, I can't remember. Oh yes, and I forgot to add your Kerbals if you asked to be added as a Kerbal. Don't worry, I will be adding you as a Kerbal, but I will not be taking suggestions where they're going. They go where the bloody hell they go, because I'm not going to keep track of them this time. That was too much stress. Anyway, unveiling the base. You probably saw it being built in the VAB in the fast, choppy edit. But I thought it was cool just to something small. I don't want it to be too realistic, but I don't want it to be unrealistic, like huge giant bases and weird uh, space stations which have already put up in orbit around the man. But anyway, this is sort of like mining mission where we're going to sort of like own the man by mining it bit by bit. So yeah, it's, it's the way it's rolling at the moment. We are going to evolve this series as it goes along, well, just what happens I suppose. I may do other missions to other worlds like Duner. Of course I have to go to Duner again. It's one of my... It's the second favourite place. Actually, the first place is the Man because of the craters. There is no other place in the Kerbal Solar System which give those craters. I think the third then would be Moho because it has unusual terrain on the North Pole. Especially the, the Man Hole. Which I suppose I'd have to revisit at one point. Anyway, let's get our way onto the Man and then I'll be back with some voicey stuff. If you're wondering why I switched over to the Man Rover, well, that is to accelerate time a little bit quicker and also it makes an awesome cinematic. Yeah, we want to land in daylight. Trust me, that's the best idea when you land it on the Man. Okay, as you can see by here, we've set up a maneuver that we can land near our station or base or no rover. Yeah, that's it. We're landing the base itself here. Right, what you want to do is if you're on in an equatorial orbit around the man and your base is or wherever you want to land is in an equatorial plane, in the same plane basically, that means you don't have to do a plane change to get a land the same place as your rover or base or whatever it is so what you want to do is just make sure that the arc your orbit arc will just make sure your orbit arc is going over the top of the base and when you're doing your burn or you set up your maneuver make sure that you overshoot that base quite a lot because you can reduce your speed especially with this design I've got small rockets to land the base, that's going to be low thrust weight ratio, but I've got a huge rocket at the base of this, which will give me high thrust weight ratio. We're going to use that to bleed off most of the speed, and then once we come over the top, we're going to come to a halt, then we're going to jettison that stage, and then use the top landing stage to slowly come down safely on a pinpoint landing. And the good idea with this is to practice. Don't forget to use F5, well, uh, save with F5, load with F9, do it a couple of times if you have to, 
just make sure that once you come over the top of your base you can adjust it slightly here and there you might find you're about five kilometers away but i'm used to this so yes that's why i get your results and also i done multiple quick saves and quick loads of this that was to try and get the cinematics of this uh i don't know if i want to continue with this jump edit stuff but i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying the editing part as well as recording the game itself so just let me know if you enjoy this. Also, do you like this music? I found it on SoundCloud. I don't know why I didn't use that stuff before. There's a lot of music on there. I just have to be careful that I'm not using music, which I have to, uh, which isn't, I'm not allowed to use. Yeah. Okay, so just a note by here, we are far from the base. This was one of the recordings I made just for the cinematics for when we are separating the craft, I suppose, and get some awesome shots. But I have done pinpoint landings before loads of times. In fact, I think I've got a tutorial on it, pinpoint landing on the man. So if you want, you can check that out. But anyway, back to the landing. Now for the Sky Crane Ejection.
Desdin and Grabro uh, Kermans are signaling Valentina to come and join them because they brought us some creature comforts. I think they got a sofa and there's some mugs and reading material. And yes, she's signaling back, okay, I'll be there quite soon. I have no idea how to do Morse code, but I'm sure you can find it out because I have no idea what they just said to each other. So I'm not sure, but I think the conversation would go like this. Hello, Valentina, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plans trees aside, I want to go in. I want to have my mug of cocoa and some snacks. It's not that she feels that she's above them because she's a supreme astronaut, Kerbal Knot, but it's just that she's been stuck on the man for so long without any food. In fact, I should install a, a life support mod. Yeah, perhaps. But then my Kerbals will starve. Anyway, all Kerbals into the base. So this was a mission success. What next? I have no idea. Obviously, we're going to have to start mining at some point because this was just a prelude, you know, sample and everything. But now that we've gotten a taste of the moon, the taste of that cheddar that we can earn from it, look at the vastness that we could own. Yeah, there's something we're going to have to do. Anyway, this is the end screen. Uh, something probably suggested by me, maybe something suggested by someone else. There's a little logo up in the top left or top right corner, which you go click and subscribe. And this is where I say goodbye. Um, I have no idea how to say goodbye in another language, so I'll say goodbye in the one I do know. Bye.